This is Math 141. Section 2.7, we're going to talk about combining functions, uh, putting these functions together. So here I have just a bunch of lists, uh, uh, not a bunch, one list of functions, f of x, g of x, h of x, and so on. And um, if you remember this function notation, like this f of x equals 3x plus 4, what this is saying is f of some input is 3 times that input plus 4. Or this j of x, j of some input, is the square root of that input. So if I told you that x was equal to 5 right now, I could evaluate f of 5. Right? So think of a, think of a function as a machine that just does something for you. You plug in some value. So if I plug 5 into f, I'm... Algebraically, you can think of it as letting x equals 5. So f of 5 is 3 times 5 plus 4. Uh, 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 4 is 19. So if this was f, if I plug in 5, the machine does the arithmetic, and it spits out 19 as an answer. So I would say f of 5 is 19. And now notice when I plug it in, it's taking the place of x. x is a placeholder. It's holding the place for the input. So if I said h of 5, h of input, each of these x's, it's a dummy spot. It's an input spot. So that would be 5 squared plus 5. 25 plus 5 is 30. So h of 5 is 30. All right, that's how functions work. Um, you know, if I said uh, h of negative 8, it would just be input squared plus input. So no matter what I put in there, the, the, the machine takes it in. So even if I went like, I don't know, h a happy face, whichever that, whatever that means, that would be happy face squared plus, plus happy face. This is just the input spot. Now this is a level of abstraction, one level of abstraction up. Um, if you might remember the first time people told you x equals 5 or you know x could stand for a value a number could uh, sorry a letter could stand for a number stand for a value or maybe even a value you don't know again it's it's a little more abstract than that because now f itself is standing for a process the process of going 3 times the input plus 4 so now we uh now we have an abstraction we're abstracting a process this process of arithmetic now here's what I think is interesting about this. Notice I had this f of 5 um, and h of 5. So if I said f of 5 plus h of 5, that would mean um, f of 5 is 19 plus h of 5 is 30. 19 plus 30 is 49. So notice that I could um, plug the 5 into each of them separately, evaluate them both separately, and then throw them together. Um, if I write this, f of 5 plus h of 5, there's, a, there's another way to write that. I could say f plus h of 5, which is interesting because this kind of implies that I could add those functions together first and then plug the 5 into them. Uh, so let me let me try that. So f of x is 3x plus 4. h of x is x squared plus x. And I could combine that x squared plus 4x plus 4. Let me plug 5 into that. 5 squared plus 4 times 5 plus 4. 25 plus 20 plus 4 is also 49. Yeah, so look, you know, if my input's the same, I could evaluate them separately and then do those out add those outputs together, or I could combine the functions and then plug the value into the functions. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about combining functions. So this notation here, if I say I'll just use f and g f plus g of x, that is the same as f of x plus g of x. Similarly, I could subtract f minus g 
of x would be f of x minus g of x. Let's see, h of 4 would, is 4 squared plus 4. j of 4 is the square root of 4. That's a 2. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's a 20. 20 minus 2 is 18. I, you can also multiply and divide with these. So, for example, if I say uh, f uh, times g, or maybe just fg of x, that would be f of x multiplied by g of x. And if I divide f over g of x, that is the same as f of x divided by g of x. So we have all these uh, things, and we can, we can evaluate them. So for example, like if I said g of 8 uh, times Uh, f of 8. I could evaluate g of 8, right? So plug it in, 1 half times 8 minus 3, get some number, and evaluate f of 8, plug it in, 3 times 8 plus 4, get those two numbers, multiply them together, and get a number answer. So we can evaluate these if we have certain number, but sometimes we'll be asked to combine them uh, just when we have just variable. So let me give you a couple examples of what that is going to look like. What is f of x? x f of x is 3x plus 4. What is g of x? 1 half x minus 3. I'm going to add them together. 3 plus a half is 3 and a half. Whoops. 3 and 1 half x or 3.5x. 4 minus 3 is 1. So f plus g of x is that. All right, how about um, h over f of x? Well, we know that that's h of x divided by f of x. So set them up. Um, h of x goes in the numerator, x squared plus x over f of x goes in the denominator, 3x plus 4. Nothing's going to cancel out. We're there. We're done. Um, another one I could have. F times H of X. Well, that's F of X times H of X. So let's see. F of X is 3X plus 4. H of X is X squared plus X. And then I, if I, I could maybe leave it like this, depending on my setting, or I could multiply it out, you know, distribute everything to everything and go from there. So that's function notation. That's function, uh, some combinations. Now in these, what you're doing is you, you're, um, you're computing the functions separately and then combining them. This one, and g, plug 5 into g2, it spits out some answer, and then you're combining these answers. So how about if I said, uh, what is j of a? Well, you're just plugging a into j. So j of input equals square root of input, so that would be just the square root of a. And we can't, you know, do anything with that. We can't figure out what that is from there, but that's what it would be. So it's interesting. I could say, what's j of uh, x minus 19? Well, again, j of input is square root of input, so that would be square root of the input, x minus 19. Notice this x minus 19 took the place of that x. Right, that is this x right here is just holding position. It's just a dummy. So this actually gets us something what I think is pretty interesting. F of h of x. So notice what this is saying. This is saying take h of x and plug it into f. Well, what is h of x? It's that. So this is the same as f of x squared plus x. 
So take, whoops. Take this and plug it into F. F is just three times input plus four. My input happens to be x squared plus x. And if I wanted to, I could distribute that three, three x squared plus three x plus four. So plugging a function into a function, what, what I'm doing here, the, the picture of this one actually looks like, I'm gonna plug x into h, and then I'm gonna plug that, I'm kind of like hooking the machines up to each other into f, getting out my answer. Notice that's different than running them like this. This is hooking one up into another. And this notation looks like this, um, f of g, and that's like a, like a small o of x, is f of g of x. And these are compositions of functions. So we have two different uh, compositions that I want to do here. One of them is f of m of x. That's just that little circle. And this is m of f of x. Let's give these a try and see what happens. So f of m of x. So that it means f of m of x. So it takes that x, plug it into m, and that gives us this, x minus 4 over 3. So m of x is, <laughs> I did it again, x minus 4 over 3. And now that is what we're plugging into f. So f is 3 times input plus 4. So 3 times input plus 4. And there it is. We can simplify it. Uh, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Then we have x minus 4 plus 4. Oh, it's just x. Oh, wow. It undoes itself. f of m of x. Yeah. That worked. All right, let's try m of f of x. m of f of x f of x is 3x plus 4. And let's try that then. So m of f of x. f of x is 3x plus 4. So we're going to plug that into this. And notice m is input minus 4 plus 3. So m is whatever the input is, minus 4 over 3. And the input is this 3x plus 4. And simplify this, uh, 4 minus 4 is 0, 3x over 3 is just x. These actually both end up being x. All right, let's try another, let's try another pair. So we're going to go f of h of x and h of f of x. So f of h of x, that means take x, plug it into h, then plug h into f. So let's see, what is it? h, x squared plus x. So f of x squared plus x. So there's our input right there. x squared plus x is our input, and it's going to go into the input spot of f. So 3 times input plus 4. Well, the input is x squared plus x. Distribute that in there. 3x squared plus 3x plus 4. That's what that is. All right, let's go the other route. h of f of x. h of f of x. So we're going to uh, plug x into f. It gives us this. So we're going to go h of f of x, which is 3x plus 4. And then we're going to take that h, uh, I'm sorry, that f of x and plug it into h. And so notice h has two input spots. So that means we have input squared plus input. And our input happens to be this 3x plus 4. So 3x plus 4, 3x plus 4. Uh, if I square this, this uh, being squared would be 9x plus uh, 9x squared plus 24x plus 16. And that's plus 3x plus 4. And if I combine some like terms here, uh, 9x squared plus 27x plus 20. That, these do not equal the same thing. 
So that tells me that this this uh, so that tells me that this combination doesn't necessarily commute. F of H is not always the same as H of F. So I can't count on them being the same. So if I have if I'm asked this, I'm going to have to do this again because they end could end up being different things. All right, uh, in your in the assignment, you're going to be some of the directions will say uh, list the domains. Don't worry about listing the domains. That's just the possible inputs. Uh, just concentrate on doing these operations, and we'll build more on it next time. Post any questions you have in the forums or message me.